the Bible is, is true and authoritative. Now, the, the Bible's under attack, and I know this is a, a, under attack in America, and it's under attack in many other countries as well. But understand this. When the devil came into the Garden of Eden, here's the first words he ever spoke to humanity. Has God surely said? Those were his first words. He can't defeat you until he disarms you. And God gave them a word, and if they would have followed that word, they would still be alive on the earth, and they would still be in a perfect marriage and perfect bodies. But he came to them and said, is that word that God gave you really true? And Eve said, oh yeah, it's true. And he says, no, it's not true. God knows that in the day that you eat that fruit, you're going to be like him. You're going to be a better person. God's trying to hold you down. He's trying to keep you from something right. There were thousands of trees in the garden that were legal. There was only one that was wrong. And he convinced them that the reason God wouldn't let them eat of that tree was because he was mean and he was trying to keep them down. And they walked over and took that fruit. And he said, you won't die in the day that you eat that fruit. You won't die. He said, God knows you're gonna, you're gonna come alive. You're gonna know the difference between good and evil. Listen to me, they died. They lost the garden. Everything God gave them was lost. Now, let me, let me say something. I'm a preacher. I'm all for sin if it works. I mean, I'm not a fuddy-duddy. I wasn't born a preacher. And I've, I've done all those things. I mean, I've done all those things. Okay. It kills people. Sin kills people. So the Bible, the Bible, first of all, tells us how to enjoy sex, like the book of the Song of Solomon. I, I probably wouldn't read parts of the book of Song of Solomon in church, you know. The Bible talks graphically about sex because God created sex and he's a good God. He created it good. But listen to me. The Bible says certain things are wrong. The Bible says adultery is wrong. The Bible says that homosexuality is wrong. The Bible says that, that sex outside of marriage is wrong. It says those things. Okay, In our society, it's destroying our society. You, when you see people engaged in those behaviors, it doesn't work. It just simply doesn't work. And so... When you read the Bible, what's, what's happening today in our society is the devil is convincing us that this is some kind of a moral shackle, that when you put this on, it's going to keep you from having fun. God wants you to have fun for a lifetime having sex. The parameters he puts on sex are like a fence around a playground to keep the monsters out. If you'll stay within the... There are many ways... sex and marriage. That's what God wants for you. He's not a prude. He made it that way. He wants you to enjoy it. But he created a fence around it so that we can enjoy it and not have problems. And I'm telling you, as a marriage counselor and as a person myself, when I talk to couples who have gone on the other side of the fence, it always creates devastation. It always creates harm. I'm all for sin if it worked, but it doesn't work. I'm just experientially, it doesn't work. So I have to begin by believing this is still true. This is still true. Regardless of what anybody else says, this is still true and authoritative for my life. Now, if you don't believe that, you're gonna be open to the, just the torrent of deception that's going on in the world today, especially about the area of sex. So this is the standard now that I'm gonna to use to decide what's right or wrong. And by the way, all people have sexual issues.
all of us are imperfect. We all have sexual issues. That's not the issue. So when I'm sitting up here saying certain things are right or wrong, and someone would say, well, well, you're a hypocrite. Listen to me. We all make mistakes sexually. But the difference between a true Christian and a person who isn't is I accept this telling me what's right and wrong. And when I make a mistake, I call it a mistake. I don't call it an alternative lifestyle. It's a mistake. It's wrong. It's against the standard. So I'm imperfect, but I receive this is telling me what the standard is. That's the difference. 